Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you a video series that I want to produce. And this is basically going to help you to tinker with so many WordPress ideas and functions, getting you to produce a plugin that you probably can sell or even use in a production site. So we'll do so many things. You're going to learn concepts like coding standards. And we're going to talk about how to refactor your code and make it a little bit cleaner something that you can actually put out there for people to use. Now, here we have on who is something that we can use to search for domain names and make purchases out of it. So I would like to recreate something like this, but we're going to be using APIs for a local domain provider. And that is basically for a .ug domain because that's where I'm staying. And we don't have something like this that can help you search renew and do so many things. So I'm going to create a plugin that you can throw in your WordPress site, eventually hook it into WooCommerce so that you can make payments, or it can be a standalone without requiring you to install WooCommerce thereafter. So it will be quite a long series, but it is going to showcase the different parts about WordPress and development. So this is something that I'm going to do from scratch. And if you are interested in this, then you should be able to jump into the code with me and then we can make something good. I'll be using my editor, which is Visual Studio Code, and it comes from code.visualstudio.com. It's a Microsoft product and it's actually free. So you can download it for any of your platforms and then use it. Then I'll be using local WP, which is basically a local server. It will give you a database. It will give you PHP. It will allow you to use MailHog as a mail trap. And those are the two pieces that I'm going to be using. Now, this particular course will also require you to know some HTML, it will require you to know some CSS, some JavaScript, and PHP. You don't have to be super talented in all those fields for you to be able to pick up this course. Just having basic knowledge will allow you to navigate through this and grow you along the way. So if this is something that you are interested in, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know some of the topics you'd like us to see us touching. And maybe I can throw them in there along the way in the different videos. But remember, we'll be working with an API. We're going to work with authentication. And that's something that I know people have been asking a lot about. So if you're interested in this course, please let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up.